This is Lesson 3.1, Parallel Lines and Transversals. The objectives are to determine the relationships between two lines and two planes, and to find angle pairs formed when lines are intersected by transversals. When two lines are in the same plane but don't intersect, they're parallel, like railroad tracks or the yellow lines in the middle of a road. In a figure, to show that lines are parallel, they'll put a little triangle on each one near the end. Notice, that's not the arrowhead at the end. It's a triangle near the arrowhead. When you write that lines are parallel, you put a double line in between the two lines' names. That says line L is parallel to line M. If lines do not intersect, but they're not in the same plane, they're skew lines. And if two planes do not intersect, then they're parallel planes. As you look at the drawings in these, remember that they are three-dimensional drawings that are written on two-dimensional paper. So do your best to visualize how these things will sit in 3D. Angle relationships. A line that intersects two or more lines at two different points in a plane is called a transversal. In the picture here, T is the transversal because it intersects lines M and N. This creates eight angles, and those eight angles can be grouped up into different types. The ones in between the two lines are called the interior angles. Angle 3, 4, 5, and 6 are interior. Of the interior angles, the ones that are on opposite corners, like angle 3 and angle 5, or angle 4 and angle 6, those are alternate interior angles. The interior angles that are on the same side are consecutive interior angles, like angle 3 and angle 6, or angle 4 and angle 5. They're in between the two lines, and they're on the same side of the transversal. The angles outside the two lines are called exterior angles, like angle 1 and angle 2, and angle 8 and angle 7. They're outside the two lines. The exterior angles on opposite corners are alternate exterior angles, like angle 1 and angle 7, or angle 2 and angle 8. They're on opposite corners outside of the two lines. And finally, the angles that are in the same position are corresponding angles, like angle 1 and angle 5. They're both in the top left of their group. Angle 2 is in the top right, and angle 6 is in the top right. It's corresponding angles. Angle 3 is in the bottom right, angle 7 is in the bottom right. And the last pair, angle 4, which is in the bottom left, and angle 8, which is in the bottom left. When they're in the same position, they're corresponding angles. Identify the transversal connecting each pair of angles. Number 1, angle 9 and angle 13. Remember, the transversal is the line that touches both of the angles. And the only one that does that is line Q. So Q is the transversal. If you're not sure, just draw all the lines. Line P doesn't touch either of the angles. Line N only touches angle 9. Line L only touches angle 13. But line Q is the one that touches both of them. So the transversal is Q. Number 2. Angle 5 and angle 14. The line that touches both angles 
is line L. So L is the transversal. Number three, angle four and angle six. The line that touches both of those is line P. So P is the transversal. Remember, the transversal is the line that touches both of the angles. If you're not sure, trace over the lines until you find the one that touches both angles. Classify the relationship between each pair of angles as alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding, or consecutive interior angles. Number four, angle one and angle five. Well, those are both in the top left of their set of angles. When they're in the same position, they're corresponding angles. Number five, angle six and angle 14. Well, those are on transversal L, and in their group, they're each in the top right. When they're in the same position like that, they're corresponding angles. Number six, angle two and angle eight. Those are on transversal P, and they're outside the two lines on opposite corners. That's alternate exterior. Number seven, angle three and angle 11. Those are on transversal N, and they're each in the bottom right position. When they're in the same position, they're corresponding angles. Number eight, angle 12 and angle three. Those are on transversal N. They're in between the two lines and they're on the same side of the transversal. That's consecutive interior angles. When they're on the same side of the transversal, inside the two lines, consecutive interior. Number nine, angle four and angle six. Those are on transversal P, inside the two lines and on opposite corners. That's alternate interior angles. Opposite corners inside the two lines. Number 10, angle 6 and angle 16. Those are on transversal L, and they're in between the two lines on opposite corners. That's alternate interior angles. Number 11. Angle 11 and angle 14. Those are on transversal Q in between the two lines on the same side of the transversal. That's consecutive interior angles. Number 12, angle 10 and angle 16. Those are on transversal Q, outside the two lines on opposite corners. That's alternate exterior angles. So remember, lines that are in the same plane and don't intersect are parallel. Lines that are not in the same plane and don't intersect are skew. Skew lines are not parallel, but they don't intersect. Planes that don't intersect are parallel planes. Make sure you name everything correctly. Bars over segments, three non-collinear points for planes. And remember, for the angle types, if they're on opposite corners outside the lines, it's alternate exterior. Opposite corners inside the lines are alternate interior. Same side of the transversal in between the lines are consecutive interior. And if they're in the same position, top right and top right, for example, they're corresponding angles.